Today I'll be reviewing the MPAL Bluetooth A2DP Music Audio Receiver Adapter. Here it is, the Bluetooth Music Receiver. Basically the purpose of this device is to convert the 30 pin adapter into a Bluetooth signal. Um, the 30 pin adapter was the old standard for iPhones and iPods. Nowadays the iPhone 5, iPhone 6 they have the lightning adapter. So you can't use your old um, stereo systems or alarm clocks or docks or anything with it. But this device, like, it grandfathers those things in. So you can use it with your new iPhones or your Android devices. Um, so here's the packaging. It's pretty simple. Um, it has the instructions here. It's a simple three-step. So first you have to turn on the docking station. And then set the audio source to mobile. And then you plug the receiver in. So it's a pretty simple setup. And of course you have to pair it over Bluetooth. We'll get to that later. Alright, here's the device itself. Pretty simple. It has two LEDs at the top to show what mode it's in, either syncing or synced. Um, here's the 30 pin adapter at the bottom. Uh, I have a quarter here for size comparison. So you can see it's a pretty small device. But it works, and it works well. Alright, um, let's get into the setup, plugging into the speaker. Alright, here's my speaker. It's a Beats by Dre beatbox. Um, as you can see, it has the old 30 pin adapter. But luckily, thanks to the device, we can set it up so it can become a Bluetooth wireless signal. So, like the instructions say, it says first turn on the docking station before plugging in the receiver and then set the audio source to mobile that doesn't apply to this and then just plug it in so first press the power button and then plug it in now the, the red and blue flashing lights means it's in synchronizing mode so I'm going to switch over to my computer now and show you me syncing it up to the device alright here I have my Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and as you can see um, the device says it's ready to pair so we're going to click pair and this should be the same setup on any tablet or uh, phone or anything so as you can see I click pair I didn't have to put in the code like the instruction said it said I may have to put on in a code but I didn't now it's installing the drivers on the speaker and once it does that I'll show you it playing music and that'll be the end of the review Alright, the adapter has successfully synchronized with the tablet. The name changed from Bluetooth headset to iLink. I don't know why, but that's what it did. Um, another good part about the adapter is that if your speaker has a remote or anything, it actually works with the remote. So you can remotely control your PC or your phone or whatever with the remote. So as you can see, I press the play button and the music starts playing. As you can see, there's no wires, only the power cable coming from the back. It's all wireless Bluetooth. Uh, so yeah, the device, it works great. Um, $15, you can't go wrong. It works perfectly out the box. Um, yeah, that's it for this review.